What's up my soldiers, Bob Leander. Today I'm going to do another job guide about the job EC Monitor. Now unless you're at PT or you're in class, you're always going to have at least two trainees manning your dorm at all times. What that means is that they're going to be on what's called EC Monitor duty, entry control. So for their two hour shift, their job is to stand next to the door of your dorm room and basically control who comes in and out of the dorm. Every single trainee, whoever comes into the dorm, any MTI, anybody who comes in is going to have to go through a process. The process is pretty simple and they have the directions written out right next to the door and every time you do the process you have to actually physically put your finger on the directions and read them out as you go through the process. Now if it's just your MTI and the MTI has the same gender as you, this is how it will play out. <sighs> hey! Sir, may I help you? Yeah, you can let me in. May I see your authority to enter? Authority? <laughs> Checking one white common access card. Master Sergeant Johnson. Verifying one white common access card. Master Sergeant Johnson. Verified. Proceeding with special instruction. Checking for members of the opposite gender. None seen. Checking for any officers. None seen. Please stand clear of the door, sir. Yeah, move. Let me in. Got it? It's pretty simple, right? Now this is how it will play out if it was an MTI who came up to your door and was trying to get in and does not have authority. <sighs> hey! Sir, may I help you? Yeah, you can let me in. May I see your authority to enter? Authority? Checking one white common access card. Master Sergeant Johnson. Verifying. Master Sergeant Johnson. Not verified. Proceeding with special instructions. Would you like me to refer you to my MTI? No. Let me in. Would you like me to refer you to CQ? No. Now let's say there's a member of the opposite gender of your flight. So if you have a flight of guys and there's a female MTI coming up to your door, what do you do? This is what you'll do in that situation. <sighs> Ma'am, may I help you? Yeah, let me in. May I see your authority to enter? Yeah, here you go. Checking one white common access card. Master Sergeant Johnson, verifying. One white common access card. Master Sergeant Johnson, verify. Proceeding to special instructions. Checking for members of the opposite gender. One seen. Checking for any officers. None seen. Please stand clear of the door, ma'am. Lady entering the dorms. Or if you're a girl flight, you'll see gentlemen entering the dorms. Now when it's the officer and when you proceed to special instructions, when you say checking for any officers, you'll say one scene. And then when you open the door, you'll say dorm, tench hut. So that way everybody goes to attention in the dorms. Whenever you're on EC monitor, you're gonna have your hat on, you're gonna have your flashlight if it's at night. You're always gonna have your binder, you're gonna have your M16 training rifle, which is my tripod case, and you're gonna have on your web belt. Now whenever you approach the door, to answer the door for anybody coming through, you always have to carry your binder to the door. Some rules with EC Monitor Duty are you're not allowed to like casually read a book. You can only read like study materials. You cannot read letters or write letters or do anything like that. The only thing you can do is talk to your wingman. So I would strongly suggest passing the time by getting to know whoever you're on duty with. Some other rules with EC Monitor Duty are that you obviously you can't fall asleep. Um, whenever you have your M16 rifle, you always have to have it on your shoulder. You never put it down on the ground. Other than that, I mean, your only duty is really just to stand there and every 30 minutes you'll just do like a little walk around, you'll like look through the dorms, make sure everything's okay. MTIs are always going to try to trip you up and try to like trick you and like banging on the door and screaming and like kicking the door and really like starting to dent the door and like just start to like really try to break in there. During this whole time you have to keep what's called your bearing, your composure. So that means you can't flinch, you can't blink, you can't like you can't fluster, you can't mess up the words or anything like that. This is to kind of build some confidence in you. So that way you, by the end of the camp, they'll be banging on the door and screaming and you'll just be like reading through the directions, just going through the process and you'll get faster with it and you don't even really care. EC Monitor is something that you will be tested on randomly throughout the camp. Now everyone gets a chance to be EC Monitor, but there's one person who is in charge of basically scheduling everyone for EC Monitor duty. That person is the EC Monitor. In my opinion, that's one of the more stressful jobs at BMT because you have to really coordinate everybody and make sure nobody's on like unfair shifts, stuff like that. But other than that, that's pretty much EC Monitor. It's every day, all day, all night. You're gonna end up with a 2 a.m. shift before a PT test at some point, who knows. 
it sucks sometimes, but it's something that's necessary for the, but it's something that has to happen. Thank you guys for watching this BMT job guide. If you want more, check out my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video. Put a comment down in the section below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Put up videos every week. Thanks for watching. Peace. What's that something about you? That genius in your genes. Your DNA is exactly just how it's supposed to be.